Good morning, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Wonderful day that what God has given to us to praise Him, to worship Him. Every day God is giving a gift. Though situations of this world may worst, but the people of God praising and worshiping through His grace and mercy, people have been experiencing the presence of God. The global circumstances have opened the doors for a spiritual conversation in variety ways. Therefore, a number of people of God today, they are preaching and worshiping through social media and other medias and awaking God's people, a spiritual awakening. And everyone should be awake for God and they should restore their spiritual lives because the Jesus is coming. The circumstances of this world today reminding us that Jesus is coming. Therefore, the church, the universal church should get ready for receiving Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are in the process that things have been changing. We never expected the things that will be go in this way, but unpredictable. Everything is going out of our imagination. Everything is getting worse in every corner of this world. Therefore, we the people of God and the church that we should alert and we should aware of what God has promised us. So whatever that he promised us, that is going to fulfill. So we are in the fulfillment of God's promises. And as a church, that we should be aware of the things of the world. And we have to be get ready for our Jesus who is going to come soon. We are living in temporary world. Everything is temporary. So we should not have any permanent feelings in this world, but we should have a, a permanent feeling that what God has given to us, the salvation, the eternity, the promise of God is the permanent for us. Therefore, we the people of God uh, should uh, think about Jesus, should think about Jesus, what he promised us. And this world is no longer in this world. This is going to be end. Everything is going to end. Therefore, only the eternity will remind the people of God should understand that this world is going to end. Jesus is going to come soon. Therefore, the church should get prepared and the universal church should be prepared. The people of God must be prepared themselves to receive Jesus when the call comes. In this pandemic, a number of people are dying. My dear brothers and sisters, today we have to understand the divine plan for the church, the divine plan for the believers of God. Every day that we should understand the divine plan for our life. For should today's short meditation that I would like to bring from a gospel according to John chapter 6 verse 21. It says, then they were glad to take him into the boat and immediately the boat was at the land to which they were going. This is a very uh, interesting verse for me and I really enjoy by reading this word. You know, the, the, the disciples were uh, glad to take him into the boat. Until then, the boat was not moving at all. Here the scripture says, then they were glad to take him into the boat. They were willing to take him into the boat. Today the people of God must understand in every circumstances 
that we should be willing to take Jesus in our life. In every circumstances that we should glad to receive Jesus. Whatever the worst situation that in our life may be. We have to willing to take Jesus in our life. Today, if everything is going on well, yes, Jesus with us. People say slight. But everything is going worst. If nothing is happening, you know, they are not willing to take Jesus. Even they never, they never pray to Jesus. My dear friends, this should not be a, a routine in our life. This should not be happen in our life. You know, they were on the shore. They were unable to reach the destiny. You know, when they saw Jesus, they were willing to take him into the boat. I would like to encourage you through this word. Whatever situation that in your life, that you may not, that you may not reach your destiny, or whether your job or business, whatever may be, I would like to encourage you in, it, in any situation, receive Jesus. Receive Jesus gladly into your situation. Invite Jesus in the midst of your situation. You know, the Bible says, immediately the boat was reached to the destiny. You know, without Jesus, we will never reach any destiny, my dear brothers. A nation without God never reach their goals. A nation without God will perish. Therefore, Jesus is the reason for every situation. Jesus is the reason for every destiny. Jesus is the reason for every blessings. Therefore, we should have a willing heart to receive Jesus. Today, people are asking God blessings after blessings. Prosperity. People today expecting the prosperity from God. But I want to tell you, without receiving Jesus in your heart and mind, without having the Jesus in your life, you will never achieve anything in your life. Anything in your life, you cannot reach the destiny. There are a number of people. You know, who started their journey with Jesus, but in the middle they stopped with Jesus and they are continuing their journey. That is the reason today they are unable to reach their destiny. My brothers and sisters today, the scripture, they were glad to receive him in the boat. Then the, the next verse says, immediately. Immediately means there is no Delay. Without a delay, the boat was reached to the destiny. Today, our promised blessings were delayed. You know, whatever that we planned today with God were delayed. It's because that we are unwilling to have Jesus Christ with us. My dear brothers, in every situation, whatever situation may come in your life, that may be pinch you, that may be made you to struggle, whatever may be, since you are a born again person, since you are a Christian, since you are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, you have to have the willingness to receive Jesus in your life, therefore you will reach your destiny. You know, to receive Jesus, you should have a, a willing mind, a willing heart, to receive him in your life and willing mind to accept his thoughts, accept his instructions, accept his guidelines. Today there are a number of people who doesn't who doesn't obey God, who doesn't dislike, who, who dis who they doesn't you know accept Jesus' guidelines. I want to encourage you, my dear brothers and sisters. If your life is cautioned, if your future is questionable, today the Lord is speaking to you. Accept Him. Gladly. Accept Him willingly in your heart, in your situation. Invite in the midst of the problems. 
Let Jesus be in your midst of your problem. Let Jesus midst of your marriage life. Let Jesus midst of your family. Let Jesus midst of your work and your business. The Lord will give you the good result and you will reach the destiny. May the Lord God bless you by hearing these words. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I pray. The people who have heard this verse, let this word of God be meaningful to them, O oh Father. If any one of them not accepting you, if any one of them not willing to have in their situation, right now I pray, oh Father, help them to invite you gladly in every situation of their life. Therefore, they may reach their destiny. They may reach their promised land. They may reach their wonderful victory of Father. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you the people who are, Lord, hallelujah, participating in this prayer. Let this, let this word of God be real to every one of them. Thank you for hearing our prayer because we ask in Jesus' name we pray a lot. Amen. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters. If you are blessed by this word, let us know that we are going to continue to pray and send your prayer request. We are happy to pray for you. May the Lord bless you. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Be safe. Stay in your home. God bless you.